All right, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash. The bonds to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Citation to all the Akim, pushing his word with truth and sincerity and with charity. <clears throat> Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world eagerly calls God. Bahasham is in the name, Rachakwadash is the Holy Spirit. And uh, Yahweh Shai is his son's name, whom the world eagerly calls God and Jehovah. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true descendants of the uh, 12 patriarchs of the Bible, God's chosen children, the Israelites, along with the speckled bird amongst the other nations. Uh, I'm your diary from the Great Millstone Branch out here in Chicago, and I'm back at you another lesson. Today's uh, lesson is going to be, uh, is it evident yet, you know? And basically, uh, with this picture that you see right here, it says the end is near before, and then you see an after picture, man, and basically that just... You know, say when you're watching a movie, man, it's about like an apocalyptic movie or whatever, man. You always have a homeless person or a bum or somebody, you know, with a sign that says the world is ending. The world is ending. And what happens at the end of the movie? The world ends. You know, it's a it's an apocalyptic event that takes place, man. But guess what? The same thing is happening right now, man. And if anybody is is, is up to date, man, it's, it's clearer than ever that the Lord is going to make his arrival upon uh, the planet Earth, man. It's evident that the Lord is coming back, man. You know? So let's get into some scriptures really quick. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And hey, that's that's spot on, man. Because hey, throughout all the uh, kingdoms of, the, of, the, uh, of this earth, man, you had prophets, man. And they had told you, hey, when Babylon was going to fall, man, they told you when Egypt was going to fall. Every, every, everything before the Lord did anything, he always let his people know what was going to happen, man. He always warned his people, man. So the ones that were willing to repent, repent will, will repent and not be overtaken, you know. But, hey, you have the same thing now, you know. It, it, you know, look right here at this picture. You have you have men with Bibles in their hand, you know, telling you that, hey, it's the time for repentance is near. You know, the Lord is on his way back, man seeing this man it's like you know it, it should spark uh a t like you know a light bulb in your head like what is this i'm interested you know what is they talking about man you know but you know uh let's get into some more scriptures this is matthew 16 and verse 1 it says the pharisees also with the sadducees came and tempt and desire him that he will show them a sign from heaven he answered and said unto them when it is evening ye say it will be fair weather for the sky is red and in the morning it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering, lowering, right? It says, O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can you not discern, discern the signs of the times, man? And hey, if you paying attention to what's going on in, main, in mainstream news or whatever, man, you have, you have, uh, uh, you have evident uh, manifested uh, works of the Lord being done, you know? You have this coronavirus that's, uh, that's, that's a plague, man. You have tornadoes, you have uh, earthquakes. You know, you have fires, you have all that taking place. And the thing is, the Lord told us that these things were going to be happening around his arrival, man. You know, this is second after nine and verse five. It says, for like as all that is made in the world, having beginning and an end and the end is manifest. Right. America, you know, which is Babylon and great, you know, it had its time to reign, you know, but it also has an expiration date, man. And that expiration date, that end is made known being manifested, man. So if there's any jakes out there that don't understand or don't see this, man, you know, it's because the Lord have, you know, blocked your heart from receiving, you know. But it says in endings and effects and signs, man. It's like uh, verse six. It says, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings. The Lord, the scriptures tell you that the Lord uh, basically before he did anything, you know, he declared it, you know, he put it, he put it in words, man. He told us, he, the scriptures say, uh, make it plain upon tables that he, that, that, uh, read if it may run roughly paraphrase, you know, but it says have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Right, man. So the end is going to be certain, uh, signs going on. There's going to be certain things that you're going to realize that, Hey, okay. The Lord said this, the Lord said that this is written in old Testament. This is written in new Testament. Okay. Something's about to happen, man. You know? But this is uh, Matthew 24 and 3. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So, yo, this was back when the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, walked, walked the earth, man. And his disciples came to him and they asked him, you know, yo, when is going to be the end of the world? 
verse four, it says, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am uh, Hamashiach, and shall receive it. It's like it shall deceive many. Right. So hey, the Lord says it's going to be people saying that they the, 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 the anointed, you know. But he said this was going to be happening in the end. It says, and you shall hear wars and rumors of wars, man. And just at the beginning of this year, you had World War Three trending, man. You have uh, troops gathering, you know, as the Lord said they would. Continuing on, it says, see that you be not troubled for all these for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation. You have uh, these different, you know, you have these different nations, you know, uh, growing more tension between them and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. You have famines. Uh, you have America not producing what they should be uh, at certain times, man. And pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places, man. And you have a whole lot of earthquakes hitting down over there in uh, South America, man. And all along that coast. And uh, pestilences, man, you have that as well, man. You have pestilence over in, uh, I believe it's uh, Africa. You have like locust pestilence over there, man, you know. But hey, this is all the signs of the Lord's arrival, man. And, and it's plain. Verse 8, it says, all these things are the beginning of sorrows. And hey, not just yet that is, you know, this is the beginning of the end, you know, the very, very beginning of the end, meaning this, this, what we finna go through. This is just, you know, the tip of the iceberg. Nevertheless, we're at the end, you know. But I'm uh this is second Andrews nine and verse one. He says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So according to all these signs that's going on, the Lord is on his way. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is sending his son, and Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. And knowing that, you know, we should be rejoicing, you know. It says, uh, verse four, then shall thou understand that the most I spoke of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, right? The Lord already told us he writ what was going to happen. He wrote down his entire will, man. What's going to happen? You know, he gave us a uh, signs of when it was going to happen. And then we're at the end of this, man, you know, but this is first Thessalonians five and one. It says, but of the times and of the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I run unto you for yourselves. No perfect that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And right now you have two uh, two thirds of our people, you know, still sleep, meaning they still in a state uh, of dead. Uh, they still in that dead state. They don't know that they're the Hebrew Israelites. They don't, you know, they don't consider, you know, they don't understand what's going on in the world, man. A, a simple Jake right now, he doesn't know that this coronavirus is getting major, man. You have all types of uh, uh, uproars about the coronavirus, man. You got fights going on about MREs, supplies, man. You know, people fighting over fighting each other for. Uh, small necessities, toilet paper and stuff like that. But a simple-minded Jake, he's not checking the news, you know. He's not doing that. They're not doing that, man. They're worrying about March Madness, you know, All-Star Weekend and all these other distractions, man. You know, it says, verse 3, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And along with that, man, you have the, their nobles, you know, or, or people they look up to, and they pastors as well, deceiving them, man. They're not telling them that, hey, it's going to be a destruction. They tell them, hey, come in here, pay, and then go about your day. You know, they're not telling them the, the uh, prophecies of these holy scriptures. But, hey, the Wadi Haobashim Yahushai, Jeremiah 3 and 15 says the Lord will raise up uh, prophets that will feed you with the words of his mouth, roughly paraphrasing, man. And the Lord has did that, you know. Verse uh, 4 says, but you brethren are not in darkness that the day shall overtake you as a thief, right? The men of the Lord are not ignorant of the times we're in, you know? We understand that these are the last days, you know? We understand that these prophecies are popping off like popcorn. Verse 5, you are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness, man. And we ain't in confusion. Verse 6, therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunk are drunken in the night, man. So wait, on two thirds of our people, this uh, the Lord, all these plagues, man, all these signs, man, all these pestilence, they're finna hit Jake hard, you know. And Jake don't know. Why don't Jake know? Matthew twenty four and thirty seven says, "But as the days of Noah were, so shall this also the coming of the Son of Man be," you know. And hey, what happened? We all know the story of Noah. It says, "For as in the days they that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking." marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. So wait, just like back then, you know, you had 
you know, you had the people just doing whatever they want to do. All manners of wickedness, not not even considering why Noah is building a big ass ark, you know, not taking heed to what he was saying, you know, not not taking heed to the warning, man. The Lord is sending a is sending his uh his warning, which is repentance to the nation of Israel, you know, repent and be saved, you know, or repent and hope for salvation before the kingdom of heaven is at uh, hand, you know. And before the kingdom of heaven come is destruction. The Lord is telling us that through his prophets, man, the mouthpiece, his mouthpiece, which is the prophets, man. Uh, verse 38, for as in the days that were brought before the flood, they were eating and drinking, married and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And so, hey, when Noah entered the ark, man, they start seeing that rain, man. Then it was all, oh, uh, I need to prepare. I, I need to, I, I need to find Noah, you know, and the same thing is going to happen now. Just like with this coronavirus, man, everybody in America was just so sweet, so soft, you know, not thinking they thinking they untouchable, man. Not concerning that it's a judgment. They were just going about their everyday lives. Then this coronavirus started popping off and everybody wants to start being last minute preppers, man. You know, getting bunkers and stuff like that. Bunk, uh, bunkers, man. But it says, uh, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. So hey, the same thing that was going on back when Noah, before the, the before the Lord spared eight people and destroyed everybody else on the earth, man. The same thing is going to be happening now. And spiritually, the ark, you know, the temple, uh, the house of David is being built, the place of safety, you know, which our covering is Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know. So, hey, the Lord is getting ready to come and deliver his his elect and his one third, you know, his small remnant. While the rest of Jake and these other two, uh, I mean, and these other heathens, man, they finna get destroyed, man. It's finna be some perilous times, man. It's evident, you know, tying it back into the, you know, the, the lesson, man. But this is Jeremiah 25 and 4. And Yahweh have sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them. But ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear. And that's the and unfortunately that's the state of our people right now, man. They they they're worrying about all the wrong things. Therefore, that day will overtake them, as we read, man. But hey, seeing these men out here, you you should know shit is about to pop off, you know. But hey, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Call Halayim La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Rakakwadash Wa Ababa Ball.